Hello, husband. Hello. Today's challenge. Pick us a good one, please. Okay. Oops. Use a big stencil. Ooh, I kind of like that one. All right, thanking you. No worries. Hello lovelies and welcome to today's challenge video. So as you heard, um, today's challenge is to use a big stencil. Now if you're anything like me you're thinking, well that's not really a challenge is it? We love our stencils. Well, I thought we could make it a little more challenging. Now obviously you say stencil, I say art journal page. But this is all about challenging ourselves and getting out of our comfort zone. So we're going to use that big stencil on a scrapbook layout. Not something I would usually do. Now, this is a stencil that I think I've used once or twice, so I thought it would be great for this challenge as well because it's all about using our supplies, using new things, getting us out of our comfort zone. So I decided to use it and make some background paper. So I got two different colored sprays. I got Periwinkle Blue and Rose Quartz or peony blush. I always get those two mixed up. One of them I'm not too fond of, one of them I love. <laughs> so this is the one I love obviously. And yeah, so I've just sprayed uh, the inside with the blue and the outside with the pink. The blue sort of went purple when you paired it with the pink obviously. Now the reason I chose these colors is because of this photo. This is a photo of my niece sitting next to uh, a little sign that's announcing that she's going to be a big sister in May to a little baby brother. So yes, my, my sister is expecting and it's a little boy. So I thought the whole pink and blue together would be good because, you know, she's in the photo but it's announcing her baby brother. But it just sort of ended up looking purple. So, but I'm going with it anyway because I like it. These colors work really well together. So, and because of the colors in the photo, it just really pops that background and is, is a big contrast to the colors in the photo. It was taken at the beach. So there's a lot of that sandy color, that um, light green, and then the pink. It's just, it just, that photo pops from that really vibrant and rich background. So I thought this would work really well. I have to admit, those spray mists with that stencil worked really, really well. It's a very fine and delicate stencil, and um, you'd think it would bleed, and no, nothing. It's it's really beautiful and crisp. Like, that white really pops from those bright colors. But anyway, getting distracted by my pretty background. So I decided to... It's a 3x4 photo, and I decided to layer it on some... Um, Flutter by Designs cards that I have, some um, filler cards and things to sort of make a little area in the middle of my layout, sort of drawing your eye into those colours and then making like this little cluster type thing. I, I didn't really have a plan for this at all, so I'm just winging it. But I thought if I make this little section, this is a 4x6 card and I've mounted my photo. I was going to mount it um, using some of my gel prints because I have so many of them and I'm trying really hard to find creative ways to use them. Collage paper is a big one. I'm collaging a bit in my um, creative journal lately. I think I want to make a junk journal or a couple of junk journals using them. So yeah, that's going to be... Anyway, diverting from what I was talking about. And so yes, I was going to mat my photo on that, but it just, it wasn't working for me. And then I found this really nice neutral uh, brickwork that I thought would work really well. And by mounting the 3x4 photo on the 4x6 card, it's given me this other little section here. And I've used an old Project Life lined card to sort of give me a journaling space. So I'm going to put my title and then have some journaling space. So that's what I like about using the 4x6 to mount a 3x4 it gives you this awesome little section as you can see to um to journal on and then i decided to add a doily behind it because you can't go wrong with a doily and the first the big one it was too big it covered up that beautiful blue that periwinkle blue i know it's really looking really purple but i swear it's blue but i guess just when you mix it with the the pink you know you obviously you get purple tones but yeah, so then I went for a smaller doily and it's just enough to soften behind my photo but still you're able to see that beautiful vibrant colour behind it. So now I'm just playing around with some more cards. Um, I wasn't sure how to embellish this layout. So while I had everything out I thought maybe I'd cut out some hearts or something. Just 
really, I was winging it. I had absolutely no plan. And then I thought um, I'd go through my Charms Creations um, little container. Only problem is, I don't have many neutral or white ones. I, I'm a very bright, vibrant coloured person, as you can tell by my Dilutions collection. And I didn't have many just plain ones. So I had this um, white and gold, and I really liked it. I was hoping to have a white heart, but I don't. So I might have to get some, I think. But yeah, you should see my collection. It's all blues and blacks and reds, obviously, because I mostly scrap boy layouts. But yeah, so I'm going to have to get some white hearts or something. So I had this chevron, which I figured worked because it's, you know, drawing your eye into my photo. But it had a bit of gold, so I felt that I needed to add some gold to this layout as well. I thought I could add some wood veneer. I don't go with the wood veneer. It doesn't work for me in the end. I was hoping to um, make like a little cluster around my chevron. Yeah, it didn't work. So in the end, I go through... I have containers on my desk, and they have leftover bits from kits, things that I haven't bothered to put away, just bits and pieces. I have these little containers here, just full of stuff. So I thought if I go through a couple of these, I might find something that works. And surprisingly I do. Um, I find some old um, hearts that I've cut out of glitter cardstock. Um, I find a really cute pink flare that um, I end up using. Yeah, just, just little bits and pieces that um, I've cut using my die cut machine. If I have my die cut machine out, generally I will cut multiple pieces, not just what I need. Obviously because, you know, you go to all the effort of pulling it out, so you may as well use the bits and pieces. And, yeah, just cut up scraps, things like that. And they generally sit on my desk, in my stash, in these little tubs. And I very rarely do I go through them. So I thought this would be a great way to... Um, get into those things and find some embellishments that I can put on this layout. Like I said, I had absolutely no plan. I put out a whole bunch of random stuff, didn't end up using any of it. So I just realized that if you're new to the channel, you might not under you might not have heard um, what this challenge series is about. So I've mentioned it in my past videos. I think we're up to, is this video three or four? I think this might be video four. This is video four. Oh, how exciting. So basically every week, um, I have a jar full of random challenges. Now they're challenges that I found online, um, there's a few challenges that subscribers have uh, recommended and please if you do think of a challenge add it to the comments below. We really want to keep this jar nice and full and like I've mentioned before it's not much of a challenge if all the ideas are from me because I know what's in there and I may be biased <laughs> of course. So if a challenge comes from you guys it's outside the box. It's not necessarily something I would think of. And that's what this whole series is about. Challenging yourself to use new products, new techniques. Think outside the box. Just do something different. And, you know, shake it up a bit. So that's what this series is about. It's about challenging yourself to do something new. And so basically, Hubby pulls out a, a slip out of the jar for us. And I do the challenge and share the video with you. And then, the best part, I challenge you to do the same project. Well, not the same project, but I challenge you to use the prompt to make a project of your own. Uh, and then, you have to share with all of us because we love to see what everyone does. So, there is an Instagram hashtag because I love Instagram. It's a great way to be involved in a creative community. And yeah, it's just lots of fun. So there is a hashtag that will be in the description below. So if you do take part in the challenge, share it with us. Use the hashtag on Facebook or on Instagram so we can see what you've been creating. And also you can see what other people have been creating using the same prompt. It's really great to see how things vary and how people take the same prompt and come up with something completely different. And it's a good way to inspire you as well. That's what I love about this. So some of these prompts, you may not have the product or the tool or something, but it's also, it's a good way to see if maybe you would be interested in getting that product. Um, we use Distress Crayons for the very first challenge. You might not have a big stencil, but now seeing a few projects using a large stencil, you might think to go get one, you never know. So it's a great way to see what other people are doing and also to share the creativity and the inspiration around. So basically, that's what this challenge is all about. 
So yeah, like I was saying, hubby draws a prompt. I do the prompt, share my interpretation with you and then encourage you all to do the same prompt and share your work. So that's what this challenge is all about. And it's been really, really fun. We've gotten a few people joining in and hopefully as this challenge goes on, we can get a few more. So yes, and also yes, like I said, if you have any um, suggestions for prompts, please add it to the comments below. We would love to um, add a few more to this awesome series. So like I said, that's where my title is going to go. I just used um, a wooden, a small wooden alphabet set and I'm just doing Big Sister. And then I'm adding my journaling about how I love the face she's pulling at this little board as if to say, you know, what is this <laughs> type thing. It's just, I love her. She's, I love her personality and her facial expression. She's just so full of sass, this little girl. And then, yeah, like I said, I'm adding my journaling. Um, I did want to add some more gold because I added those hearts. I had the gold from the chevron and then I thought just another little pop of gold. So I got my uh, Kazar Gold Shimmer Spray out. And, yeah, that's going to be it for the layout. So I hope you have enjoyed the video and I do hope you will join the challenge as well. Thanks for watching. I'll be back real soon. Bye for now.